Hello, in this video I just want to cover a great question that I was asked about using combo boxes. This is the Microsoft Excel form controls. The question was, can we set up a similar system to the data validation where you can only select one of the items that's in a list. And with data validation, if you type something else in, you get an error message. This question was more about how do we stop typing in to the combo box. I've got one set up here. If I drop this one down, I can make a selection from a list and that's fine that works okay but if I type something else in if I type the word test for example and press enter you'll see that it allows you to type it in to the combo box and then I'm getting some NA errors down here for some VLOOKUPs. This is really as simple as changing one of the properties in there. All we go and do is go into back to design mode click onto your combo box, open up the properties at the top here, and then come down to this one that says style. And you need to change this style from drop down combo to drop down list. Okay, and then we can close this properties down, come out of design mode and go back to our drop down, make a selection and that works. And now try and type something in and it will not allow you to type in. What it will do is if you type, let's type an H for example, see how that goes to the first H in the list. Well, that's fine because you can still only select something from this list. So it stops you typing anything else in. So it's a bit like data validation on a combo box. There is another alternative. So I've set the same scenario up down below here where we're reading a want to read a database I've called the database staff so that we can access it so let's just go to our insert and here's the ActiveX controls instead of a combo box come over to this one which is a list box so click that you get your hairline cross and let's go and draw our box in here Perhaps we don't want to cover the staff ID heading. So there's our box. Now what we want to do is go to properties. I'm not going to bother with all the settings down here, just the important ones. We'll go with the linked cell. Well, in this case, I'm putting the ID number into C17, which is just hidden underneath this list box. So let's type C17. Uh, list fill range is the staff database that I've got on the spreadsheet and you can see straight away that the ID numbers pop up from the database that I've got on the other page. I just want to change that so up the top here I've got column count so I'm just going to have let's say three columns as my count and I can now see the ID number first name and second name in the list. Now let's just close the properties down, come out of design mode, and there's our list in here. So I can make a selection, and you can see my VLOOKUPs working below that based on the ID number that's going into the cell underneath this list box. I can now scroll through the whole database and make a selection. And if I try typing something, it just will not let me type anything at all. There's the keyboard going. So there's two alternatives, change the settings in the properties for the combo box or produce a list box. So hopefully that answers the question and other people that watch this might gain something from it as well. So good luck and see you in the next video.